All right, welcome back. Now, time for us to talk about prison reform. So, inside Wibodo, Nigeria, despite the fact say um, they don't change down to the Nigeria prison. Um, from the Nigeria Prison um, Force uh, Service um, to the Nigeria Correctional Service. And this one, because of some of the badness, where people don't come outside, they talk since as regards to the prison service in general. Now, we know a lot of things that actually affect our prison service. People will go prison and then they will come out even hardened. We know the issue of uh, plenty prisoners in just one prison where you accommodate just 1,000 uh, inmates. We know the issue of their, um, the, their welfare there. We, we, a lot of things then they actually affect the prison service. So we will talk about them today. And the person we will actually talk about them with now, person will be saying she don't they took eye, took leg, took everything for inside this matter for over 20 years. Now she don't get experience for inside prison and criminal justice reform matters. Join me, welcome Dr. Uju Agomo into the house. Good to have you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank and I'm also you now the drafter of the new prison law. Uh, we worked to it. Uh, you worked towards no, 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 so tell us, it. Yeah. Tell us more concerning um, this particular one. This law is um, a better law for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You know, now the kind thing where if everybody knows what they did inside this law, then go we'll just celebrate as Nigeria. It's because the law come make Nigeria, make it just be like many other places we don't develop around this main issue. It, Look into the thing we'd be say like we we they call human rights mm -hmm. to make sure say because you know when they carry person who put for prison that's the thing we say they don't put the person in prison that thing already in a punishment sure you know like because nobody going to tell you you no go move like this you no go come out you no go, you know so that one already in a punishment so the major thing be say how they go make the person make it better where if you come out tomorrow it will be person will no go do that thing again. But it's important to make we understand, say, no be everybody where they inside prison I ain't be criminal. Because it's sometimes they think saying everybody where they are now terrible people. It gets some people where they not do anything. But they they there. That's why we they say make they try the process they quick quick so that people where no do anything, no suppose even they there. You get some people when are small, small things where they do, maybe they give them fine, or maybe they catch them for road, say then they um sell markets. They can't carry them. Give them, say, make they pay five, five thousand. No, no, if you pay. They carry them, go put for prison. You know, say that can't be no good now. So, for those people, you know, need where government, they, they, they feed them. Those kind of people, they suppose they outside. If they get anything where they want, uh, tell them, say, nah, like punishment. If, if you tell them, I sweep me road, or they do something outside the community, but maybe, maybe, maybe take government money, they do that. You know? So, the thing about human rights, they inside. The thing about say make we save money for government, put the people where no supposed be in prison, prison remove them. Say in, the ones when a small small thing where they do small so no be serious. They say they go say make the day outside serve the sentence, do certain thing we go help community. He did there. The thing we go make the people where they uh, where they work there, make reform people, make them maybe be better people. He did there. Make I go give you some few examples. Ah, I get another one where I, I won't forget now. You know, say ma the major problem, one of the major problem where problems we did for our head, where it reach this now. People where they never sentence, they never find out whether they do or not do. Now they plenty inside that place, plenty well well. The one where you put the call awaiting trial persons or unconvicted persons, and you know, come good. That person go dead there ten years, five years, eight years. You don't know whether nobody go say he do or he no do. You know, you don't go find that say this person he dead guilty or he no dead guilty. Meanwhile, some of them go don't stay time, pass the time where they go don't stay, even if they say they touch them. This, that kind of behavior no good now. That kind of that, that, that thing would no good at all, at all. Now, apart from that, they go come there contaminated with the people where be bad, bad people. You know good. So this particular law, come give people where they work there. Now, say they don't be prison officers again, they're not going to call them prison officers. Yeah. Now, correctional yeah. officers. Mm -hmm. And you, you know that name switch for mouth. Because correctional means say. Your job now to make person day better. So correctional officers, the part of the don't can't give them power. Say when they don't notice, say the population don't they go beyond the capacity where they put the person. Because you know so many places capacity go be eight hundred. They go to lock up two thousand, three thousand. Let's see, call you prison five or eight hundred, almost uh, three thousand, two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. You know, go even talk about the prison. Many other places like that. Then don't, now they go say, see you. 
our prison. Within one week, they noticed that it, they must go tell Chief George, go tell Attorney General, go tell the people where they call prerogative of mercy, go tell other major persons where they get power to do something about the people where they come inside people prison and the people where they come out. They go tell them, say, see, oh, this particular prison where they head, though. See, you don't want the fool, oh. When they tell them those things, if they go wait about another three months, make these people begin to do something. For example, the people go fit, begin review the cases where they get. Second thing, they go say, maybe instead of saying, make a sentence on that person to that particular prison, they go send them to another prison where no get that problem. For that three months, they must try to bring the thing down. If they no bring them down, the correctional officer get power now to say, after the three months pass, when you don't notify, send off what they call early warning signal. Go say, I no take. <laughs> you know what, as you do the talk, so it is very sweet for us to hear. Um, oh, yes, we get this new one. It's a correctional service now, not with the Nigerian prison service. But we don't see stories of people where we say, yes, they, they sit there for inside, um, they attend court processes, but they don't stay for inside prison for years. I will read a story of a particular young man where we say for almost like uh, 15 years, he don't they actually go court and he's there for inside prison. Until finally, where they can't realize, they not being even do the crime where in do way supposed they for instance. And this person don't stay for prison for almost 17 years. Mm -hmm. Now, I just want to know because when laws like this day, they're very sweet. So the different bodies where supposed to ensure say this law, they're very, very strong and in favor of Nigerians, which in their role, especially our justice system. Everybody, even this correctional service, they'll be part of the justice system. Everybody, the thing where you're talking about, even we, we're for power. We don't get one case like that. Even the boy, no, remember the day where they arrested him. Now, the case management system where we start, it's not for Enugu. This particular person was in, in soccer prison. The then attorney general follow us, but time we will come find, we say, we can't go tell us, say, see the longest person where they are prison for this Enugu state, and they can't find that. You know? So, that thing where they talk now, true, true. Okay? See, all this is not system, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like I say, as your body day. I connect leg. You know, something exactly. will happen while everything connects yes. together. Mm -hmm. If anything happened to your head, it will happen if it happened to other parts of mm -hmm. your body and things like I that. Agree. So, the first persons where they get the, what they are call upstream, now waiting, law enforcement agencies, mm -hmm. police, NDLE, uh, just now that, all of them like that, they must do the right thing in terms of investigation. Exactly. So, the thing about investigation, be say, if you suspect, you let that suspicion be saying uh, you get you be a grant to suspect. Not be say one man no like this person. He say I go sham. You go tell us say that guy my nah, brother. You go you go pick up. You go so do your own homework well. Collect enough evidence. And part of this thing say the evidence not go be only evidence. Say you must make person confess. You go find all their reasons. Technological check phone check this survey the person do all sorts of things. So by the time you are ready, eh? If you carry this person, arrest them, you are ready to go to court the next day. But even what about the cases of when you're not ready, but still, this person, eh, they go court, you know, still there for inside prison. No, no, no. The point where they talk, they say, first, try to be ready well, well, as much as you can, to enable you to be ready by the time the person go in prison, so you go to court. Eh? But you can get your facts well. Because if you just arrest person anyhow, you let person in back and back. You get, they call the same investigation is still going on. What thing you do talk? If you don't even get the, uh, the, the facts you want, you will keep the person. Evidence, go lost. Witnesses, go relocate. Uh, IPO, you know, which is the investigative police officer. The V transfer. That case, you and I know, say, you go stay you know, for a long you time. Go stay, I mm. know, go get head. But the person goes to there for inside prison. Yes. So, the first point is say, let us do investigation well. Eh? The Law enforcement agencies must do that first. No, they they're not doing well. Who protects you, the Nigerian? No, it, it's, a, it's not only themselves. It's, you know, I keep the telling you, say this in a system. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you start from investigation. The next thing between prosecution. The people where go prosecute, sometimes the connection between the persons where they investigate and the people where they prosecute, no, they, no, they jail well, well. Because sometimes, if the person where they investigate, no, understand the, all the ingredients where the prosecution need to prove a particular case or a charge. Problem go be they. So you go, that's one, they go be say, and sometimes they go talk, uh, put a particular charge where you know, say, you know, get the distance. And you know, law, they technical small. Eh? So for example, if you say somebody won't charge them for homicide or murder, 
There must be dead body now. There must be proof that somebody died. If you say you want to charge somebody say for death, there must be proof say they get an object where no belongs to you, where you carry. And say you get intention to wait in the Igbo person, they call permanently deprived. The person will get out from that thing. You get. So all these things can need to be ready before you go say, I charge you for theft. I charge you for this. I charge you for that. Well, I see they're very interested in this. I, I like to say you they analyze them. But if all those things don't know they're available, well, we don't they see, thank God say they reform the, the, the new law, they don't pass them. But if all those things know they're available, for the Nigerian way they don't send to prison, who go protect them? Who ain't go report to say, they don't arrest me, oh, I don't stay for prison for almost two years now, and they don't even get any evidence to uh, show. See, see, there are many ways. If you don't forget, say, we, we get National Human Rights Commissioner. We get Legal Aid Council, where by their act of 2011, it's empowered them to do so many things, including coordinating so many things. But then that agency, they say, anybody will not get money, is supposed to get a lawyer. Eh? Mm. And even that agency, we find out that because in the constitution, it say anybody will they charge, you're supposed to get access to a right to a lawyer, yes. isn't it? Mm -hmm. So they say you don't get money, no supposed to be the problem. But we know say this, we also have challenges over it there. Is, so yeah. because you still get some people where they inside prison when they no get lawyer. You still get some people where even get lawyer where they the quality of service where the lawyer they give no be they that point. good. That's mm. why for 2017, 17th of April, Nigerian Bar Association and the legal council, they can't come get um, uh, memorandums, can't sign up, say they go partner. Because if half of the lawyers where they this country, country in Niger, they say, the only one person I go give waiting a call pro bono service, that is free service, free service just yeah. one person, thing go better, it go, better. It go help matter yeah. where where. Then you also get NGOs, you get a faith based organization where they call fit also what? Report. This new law too, can't come put many systems where be what is called oversight, visitors, inspectorate process, which we believe say if they do what in date for that law, you go come help. Because if you come miss the thing, you go come see the, uh, you can you go come find somebody where you find them. And no come forget. You see that provision where I've been described, say they can't give the correction officer now power to do. If you look inside that in NAS, NAS section 12 for that new law. Mm. You see, when the other agencies, police know say, if they take people where no suppose they there, go feed them. The space come feed. The correctional officer go say, I know take. You self go know. Even if you be law enforcement agent, your brain go come tell you say, you better not can use this place for the better people where I need to use it time for. Because you get some people where you need to lock up there, isn't it? But also remember that the whole second part of this new law. Now for about non-custodial measures though. So what you be say, it get many people where no suppose they inside the detention now, your prison. In short, for the new law, we call them custodial facilities. Eh? So those kind of people, they say, give them all that thing. So make the government no no just spend money anyhow. So only the people where they then try for us, we where they outside, where we please keep there and don't they do rehabilitation and all the rest of that for them. So you can find that say, because of that non-custodial measure, you don't take something away to deal with that. Then you find out the powers now, where the correctional officer get, you can't do there. Now, apart from that, there are different, different things, you know, that we enable, and don't forget this law, not be the only law where we get for Nigeria. You also get the law where the Administration of Criminal Justice uh, Act of 2015, and that Administration of Criminal Justice Law of many states. So that law, when you do all the things where they there, Plus the one day they are in this one, you go help. And many other reforms people are talking about. They are pushing and talking about also police reforms mm -hmm. and all that. So there are certain things that this law will cover. It's not everything. Mm -hmm. So don't forget, we talked about investigation. We need to deal with that. Quality of prosecution, provision of legal services. Witnesses, that one, we need the people know they look there. Mm -hmm. How are we ensuring that witnesses come court? How are we ensuring that whatever support, the information that the witnesses require? Because if witness no come court, court you go there hard to prove the case. So, so whether any witness will come, we must give the witness enough support. All these people are necessary to be in this in the in the court. And then the judiciary, whatever support that needs to be done to ensure that they don't keep adjourning. And if you then adjourn cases or have cause have a reason to adjourn cases, then at what cost to you? And then it becomes a little bit better. So I think it gets plenty of things where we're supposed to be celebrate for this new law. I never talk the thing where the law provides for young people. I never talk the thing where the thing say you go do for women prisoners because or women inmates because now better thing. Not even for the people where they talk say they'll be mentally ill people. All these issues 
they, they, they were dealt with. The thing in the they law. said, this law, if you actually read more concerning this law for you to just get more information, you go realize say, this particular one will cater for a lot of things, so we don't come outside they cry for. It's they very sweet for you to read, but then implementation. Thank you. Our major problem. Thank you. You, you, you hit them for the head well, well. You see, for this country, this is a very big problem. See, for example, one of the major things where this law tried to achieve, you know, so I call this Administration of Criminal Justice uh, Act of 2015 and Administration of Criminal Justice Laws of Many States. Please. You know, see, it gets certain things where they, that, those, law, that, those laws, the ACJ and the one uh, ACJL of Many States, where they never do. So that this law can't be said, it can't help to facilitate certain things. And I will call just two for you. Okay. One. All the sessions are about non-custodial measures because many of the both the Administration of Criminal Justice Act and Administration of Criminal Justice Laws contain sections for non-custodial measures. That means no send them to prison, send them outside to do certain other uh, sentencing and things like that. But many states are not doing it because there is no mechanism to help them. So it is only Lagos to, to some extent is doing community service and all that. But this new law now have provided the platform across the whole country yeah. that at least for a start there are people who would be able to do that supervision, just like people who you are being sent, when you send somebody to say, say for prison, for custodial sentence, somebody to supervise them. So that's one thing this has helped to do. The other thing it has helped to do is that the, in that new uh, Administration of Criminal Justice Act, it called, there's something where it called Rehabilitation and Correctional Center, where they talk about how to deal with young people. There is nothing that, at the moment, that is called by that name. So we have busters, we have remand, busters that are run by FEDRA, we have remand homes and approved schools that are run for young offenders by the state, mm. you know, for junior and lower level. But in this Nigerian Correctional Service Act of 2019, it then says in Section 35 that every state of the Federation, including FCT, should have a separate facility for young offenders, which role will be to serve as rehabilitation and correctional centers, you see, giving mm. that linkage with the other law, mm -hmm. with the Administration of Criminal Justice Act itself. So that is very, very useful. Now, the question, therefore, is how do we implement? So first thing he has done is to reinforce the implementation of other laws. OK, that's one. Secondly, within this mechanism, there are so many checks and balances. I've given you the one that you see in section, you know, in section 12, in terms of the checks and balances that what the chief, the correctional officer, the chief superintendent, mm. the superintendent of the prison, of the correctional service center in, the, in of that particular one, and the state controller what they can do to bring certain levels of checks and balances. But there are also others in terms of documentation, in terms of even the people when they refuse to accept certain people, who they need to send that information. There is also the thing about oversight, inspections and all that. But in addition to that, there is also a mechanism for coordinating the works of the non-custodial measure, because it's a new thing. Just like in the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, we have the Administration of Criminal Justice Monitoring Committee. For this one, we have the Administration of Crim and, uh, the National Committee on, on uh, Non-Custodial Measures, both at the federal and the state. We also have the Mental Health Review Board mm. in each of the states of the federation. Why? My sister, at the moment, there are people where they put for inside that place, where they record them, civil lunatics yeah. and criminal mm -hmm. lunatics. They're but not this, well. Some of them, the reason why they put them there, nobody said they commit any offense. Now, because they know where, but please, my sister, prison no be for the place for treating mental people. Now, because mental health is not free, some people are ashamed that their loved ones are inside these places. So before you know it, they bundle the people. Say what sort of offense before you know it, they can evoke the so-called lunacy law of since, since before when we don't get psychiatrists. And this is pornography defend themselves. For where? But now, they are now the controller general it will appoint in collaboration with the state uh, officers, will appoint this board, which will be headed by a psychiatrist. And the psychiatrist can come from either the state or geopolitical zone where the, you know, the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital is, because there is Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital in each of the geopolitical zones of the country. Then plus the medical people in the, pre, in the correctional service, plus psychologists, plus welfare officers. So that is also another oversight. So you see the mechanisms. In section 44, there is a provision of a fund, which is called a non-custodial fund, so that if that fund is also activated, if there is any gap, because that fund will enable philanthropists, will enable government, whoever, to give mm. extra support to this so process of non-custodial mm -hmm. measure, then it can also be done. Now, I want to tell you that one of the things that make me happy about this new law is that, yes, there are certain monies that are required 
to be ensure the government releases it for the correctional service to make things work. In short, during the process of drafting the bill, the National Assembly specifically asked the committees of the interior, especially asked for what they call the uh, financial implication of this of law. This, and yeah. it was developed mm -hmm. to show them. But there are certain cost saving effects. And I just want to also use the opportunity to thank the leadership of the non correctional service because they started looking at us. And then when we were doing this discussion, I, I spoke to the control general and I said, What are the things that can, you can you know, guarantee that can help jumpstart this? For example, they have state commands in all the states. Just his secular alone will designate, first of all, all the places that are called Nigerian Prison Service State Command will automatically be what? The Nigerian Correctional, Correctional Service. Service. So it has no cost mm -hmm. implication beyond just changing logo, just printing, mm -hmm. all that. Then, you know. So we think, oh. So no, we no, think. No, no, not not, it's not supposed to no, get no, any cost No, no, no. What I'm saying, it will have some, but I'm saying okay. it will not be like not building a new okay. facility mm -hmm. that you, you call this. Because it's already, they True, have so that across. There, just to change the name. They have that across. Mm -hmm. Then the non custodial unit. So it will not say, designate a part, a room, a section, a whatever. As, at least as a starting point. Do you get my point? I am not saying there will not be funds. It yes. will be need for funds. But mm -hmm. what I'm saying is that we don't have to fold our hands until all the money comes before we start running. So you can say, designate a certain unit as the non-custodial unit, eh? mm -hmm. head state command. Then there are currently welfare officers in the, in the Nigerian, now Nigerian Correctional Service. service there are some psychologists. Yes, we will need, there will be need for more recruitment, more employment. But I say at for three start, you can say what? Let's second some of these people. We we'll do the necessary training and all the rest of that. Because these people are already being what? Paid within the system. Are you understanding my mm -hmm. point? So what I'm waiting at the big talk here yeah, to say, we no go fee say, make we not do anything until you see, it's just for us now by tomorrow, we will start a training. Today I'll go to Abia State. By tomorrow, Abia State will start off the training for those who will begin to implement these non-custodial measures. And that is very wonderful. Why? Because in Abia State, they don't pass the Administration of Criminal Justice uh, Law of Abia State 2017. And you have very progressive people. The Chief Judge of Abia State is very progressive. So you have a great support. The Controller of Correctional Service, Abia State Command, who used to be the officer in charge of Ikoi Prison. Very, very reform-minded person. You have the Attorney General, you have the Solicitor General, and all of Abia State. So when you have these reform-minded persons, in the hem of affairs, they want to keep, start, you know, keep, you know, moving on this thing. Where would they be? So, the thing why I want to talk say every Nigerian make we support this thing. But apart from this, we must hold government accountable. Exactly. We must check it like this one now. One month to pass, you go say, what you know, I don't do since that one month, you know. But media get power too much. Especially state governments because they get role to play in implementing this. Everybody, you have the federal. You have the, the state now be in terms of the judges, yes. the judiciary, because mm -hmm. if the judiciary no con, uh, give sentence of uh, custo custo non-custodial measure. So that is where we need the judiciary. And this is a strong partnership between judiciary and the correctional service. Mm -hmm. So they just like when they sent people, we, we make it go prison. Then who else is perverse? Not correctional service, isn't it? So, but please, I take this, they beg. Hmm? Say, make we try to do hope, a lot of support. Because when something change, you get as we go fight, you know, encourage them, the people go do well. On Saturday morning, me and the Controller General day for radio, for two hours, for Radio Link, Radio Nigeria. And I hear them come talk to say Nigerians, please, say make they give them patience. Make, they think come touch me, you know. And I don't say how the man come work hard. Because when they will do this bill, he get eight persons, this bill. This thing, now eight, uh, uh, because I see some people where they, the way they, where they describe this, this thing. He get eight Persons for National Assembly. Four persons where they be senators, including Senator Remy Tunubu. In short, that Senator Remy Tunubu's bill for women, women we take. Yeah. So they get eight. So four for Senate, four for House of Rep. Now those eight bills, now we will take, uh, begin to do the harmonization and all the rest of them. And all that thing now for the eighth assembly. When Mr. President say, you know, they sign for April, imagine. Within that time, where they get the same, and before with less than one, one month, these people turn this thing around. Mm -hmm. And you can't touch me because some of them, no be people where go come back again for the ninth assembly. For example, the chairman for the Senate Committee on Interior, who is uh, Senator Anduba, he was very helpful. And yet, you know, he's not in the ninth assembly. Mm -hmm. The chairman for uh, House of Rep Committee on Interior, Jagaba, was very, very helpful. He's not in the ninth assembly. I want Nigerians to appreciate these eight persons, appreciate the leadership of the 
Committees of Interior of the Boat Houses under the Eighth Assembly, and appreciate the entire Eighth Assembly. These people worked hard. And then, of course, Mr. President, because if we do all yeah. that and you know, I'm sign not sign up, it's a way After we start. Yes. We they, we they, we they I'm telling you, thank you so much, Dr. Uju Agomo, uh, one of the drafters of the new prison law, uh, with over 25 years' experience for inside prison and criminal justice reform matters. Thank you very much for analyzing um, this new prison law where they don't sign after years. Now, not call them the Nigeria Prison Service anymore, Nigeria call it Correction. the Nigeria Correctional Service, where they hope say the implementation will start off quickly and then we will start to see the result of our. Make people go prison, come outside, a changed person, including in society. Not be said that we go prison, come outside, even hardened. And for those who be said they never get any business being in the prison at all, um, we suppose to her inside them. And there are some other um, um, judgments where you feel actually pass across to some people where they don't do some kind of badness. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please, um, is, you know. Yes, yes, I'm done. You've got yeah, the final. Yeah, I wanted to just say, please, apart from this law, okay. people where they outside. Make they know they stigmatize uh, persons yeah, because now you be part of the problem. Mm. Even though this one talk about certificate of good behavior, yeah. we they go give some other people. But please make all of us put hand. True. Uh -huh. True. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.